guys welcome back to another m creator lore video so today what we're going to do is we're going to work on the mechanics for the bushes that are going to grow so i wanted to get the bushes to kind of grow over time and stuff like that i still have some work uh to work on them later on uh in the near future right at the moment they just have no way to stop or they grow too fast so i've tried limiting it through the procedure and getting it to work and stuff like that but it just it's still very temperamental with the random tick update so i'll probably end up redoing the code or making it run during a certain period of time which would be kind of a good idea to um kind of indicate like certain plant growth you know have it time based so maybe during the early mornings or something it grows which could kind of make sense so we'll see if we can't fix that up later Alright, so basically this procedure here is what it's doing is it's going to uh, update the block, it's going to add some particles, it's going to replace the block, and it's basically testing if the side that it's going to be growing on is basically going to support the block. So uh, with the placement condition, I had to tweak that a little bit uh, for the flower one, I remember doing that, but I had to re-record, but... Uh, what will happen is it will just kind of spread off of a random side and that random side is basically um, based on the variables that we're setting so I tried playing around with it in a way that it would actually go ahead and um, be only happening when it needs to like when it can grow so this last variable the logic one is uh, designed for it to kind of shut off automatically but that obviously didn't seem to work like i said so um yeah i was just kind of playing around with it trying to get it to work and stuff like that but this is basically the procedure i used so far all right and then what we needed to do was basically copy the tag and we needed to make a tag name for the actual um thing that it can replace so this this tag is specifically used for replacing certain blocks uh air flowers grass things like that that are possibly going to be in the area where it spreads so we'll be able to use that for that part uh next what we need to do is actually work on a procedure for a couple procedures for the uh structure generation i said we were going to do that as well and what this procedure is going to be coming from is our my basic script one and what that procedure does is it, i'll make sure that the plant is on a ground surface when it actually generates so i'll cover that in just a little bit but um basically all the settings that are visible are the ones that we actually need to tend to though there are a few settings that I noticed that were a little bit wrong in the procedure that needed to be fixed. So I was just playing around with this. Uh, while we're doing this, I'll probably um, make sure that the um, example workspace gets updated and I can basically update the, um, add some support for Y offset as well. So it can be better for generation. Uh, y offset will allow us to make it so if we have the structure want it to spawn it underground a little bit more we can adjust the um the offset of the selection so where it's going to be testing for generally you won't need it any more than the default value which would be zero but uh this is basically what i'm implementing right now is the y offset so it would basically um allow us to control the y access test direction so that's basically it um it's just a matter of making sure that the value is um plus the uh, the offset value and what that will do is it will make sure that it will test in the area that it needs to be uh you can actually subtract and still or add and basically have a subtractive value to it and it will still deduct the value so that's why i'm using the add symbol so that one's done, that one's done, and uh, we just need to update the values now for the procedure, so we'll set that all up. Uh, first, I just wanted to organize this a little bit. I found it a little bit confusing when I was actually working on it, so I wanted to make sure that it was in the proper order. And uh, before I updated any other settings, I basically saved it so I could basically go ahead and uh, 
have this particular one done so i'll work on the other procedure as well which there's a larger structure one which i'll do the exact same thing too i'll make sure that it's all in order and stuff so it's easy to um actually place the tag so i'm going to be using tags for this as well so we can basically specify the tags and stuff um and then we still need to fill out the items which are the grass block etc so i want to make sure that we can set those up but i'll just uh set up the tags right now and then we can continue so once that was done i needed to select the uh, basically the blocks for the air tag. Uh, the air tag was uh, needs to have the grass, the tall grass, think well the tall grass, flowers, air. Those are the main things for that one. Uh, for the topsoil, we just need our actual top of the grass. So I needed to select that one. And just going over the settings quickly. And then the last one, what we need is for under soil. So I also added the fertile, fertile soil for this one. Uh, the fertile soil was kind of needed for, you know, some growth and stuff. I figured we could probably make sure that it grew on the fertile soil because it's fine enough to do. Um, it probably won't be able to fully grow on it, but if there's some of it off of the fertile soil, it should be able to. To count as a valid placement condition and the last thing that i needed to do was update the um main procedure for the um what do you call it the uh, additional generation condition so i just basically added one of these for each one of the thing and then i just basically specified the file it was for uh i have two of the things uh, one of the things that is important though is making sure the offset for the um, generation for the Y uh, offset is set to one because it needs to be one block above where it's going to be generating. Uh, that's just Im important. Again, having the Y offset uh, implemented will allow you to adjust that particular setting as well. So it'll make more sense once we get it set up. All right, in game. So as we can see, uh, we have some of the bushes here. Um, I didn't have to actually travel too far to find these. Uh, there was one right outside of our place, but I wanted to see if there's any other generation. They do seem to generate pretty quickly. Like I said, um, having a restriction either based on time or something like that would probably do it really well. Uh, so it would only really grow during a certain period of time during the day. Uh, we could have it on range maybe um, those are a few different options but i don't think it's possible to really uh, control the speed with a random up ticked update unfortunately i've tried with uh, mbt variables and it doesn't seem to work but um, yeah uh, these bushes do get pretty big over time that's why i'm thinking maybe having a time period where it will grow but that's for another problem uh for another day if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out